the negativity towards my manager, man. What 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 has he done apart from celebrating a goal, celebrating his team, celebrating a team that is trying to beat these juggernauts, Liverpool and Man City, you know? And because he's celebrating, because Martin Erdegaard, we have taken a picture with Stuart, the photographer, a lifelong gunner. This man's been supporting Arsenal since he's, what, five or something ridiculous like that. Taking a picture in front of the North Bank. What's wrong with the captain doing that? It doesn't mean it's got nothing to do with the fact just because we've beaten Liverpool. That's just an opportunity. Why are everybody, why are everybody trying to kill the joy? Don't kill the joy. There's so much of the season to go. As soon as Arsenal do anything, they just come under the pylon. It's like we can't have any joy. We can't have any joy. People, the celebration police are out. Ever since we beat Liverpool, people have been trying to knock Arsenal down a peg because we humbled one of the biggest clubs in Europe, Liverpool. And also, we have some great news, ladies and gentlemen. Some big, big, big news. Thomas Partey will be back very soon. Timber will be back very soon. Tamiyasu will be back very soon. And he will also get a new deal plus a one-year extension for Jorginho. Let me know in the comment section how you guys are feeling. Let me know what you guys think about the news that Thomas Partey potentially could be back soon. Timber could potentially be back soon. Tom Yasu and Jorginho will be getting contract extensions. Do you agree with those decisions? And also, how are you guys feeling off the back of beating Liverpool and all the tears from the Liverpool fans and the, uh, and the media talking about celebrations? The celebration police make me laugh. Let's get the show started. Don't forget, this channel is, of course, sponsored today by none other than SofaScore, the best football app on the planet. The link is in the description. Check it out if you want anything and you want to follow up and keep track of football. This is the best app for you. So let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. First topic of the day is, of course, Takahiro Tomiyasu has agreed a new deal with Arsenal, and it was sealed uh, two days ago for Peter Romano reported this. Of course, I did release a short video on it, but this is the long format video. This is great news. And I just want to ask you guys, how excited are you guys to see Arsenal's team fully fit? Because I am excited to see Arsenal's team potentially fully fit because we're going to have defensive options an amazing amount of defensive options. We will have so many good defensive options. It's just going to be a situation like, who do we play? With Takahiro Tamiyasu, Ben White, uh, Saliba, Gabriel. It's just, there's so many. Zinchenko, Timber. There's just going to be so many options for us. We're going to have such a great plethora of choices for our defense that I'm just looking around and I'm saying to myself, wow how far we've come from Mustafi Kalazanac and David Luiz back in the day to what we have now. It's only been like five years, but it's night and day. Our, we have one of the best defenses in the league. And with Tamiyasu coming back, that just strengthens it to full fold. And that is exactly what we need. Let me just show you guys this. This is... This is, of course, uh, Takiro Tamiyasu's new contract, though, and I'm excited to hear that he's getting a new contract. We're fully deserved. He is slightly injury prone, but he's a good squad option who can also play as a right back, left back, center back. He just is a utility knife that we need. And with that being said, this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is the options that we have. With Timber coming back, we have six elite options in the defense. And about all of them can play as a center back, except for Zinchenko. Every single one of these guys can play as a center back. Three of them, uh, four of them can play, have played predominantly as, as, as fullbacks. And as we already know, Saliba and Gabriel are the mainstay two defenders and the, and the keys to hold this team apart uh, together. I view it this way. The, if fully fit, what would be your best back four? Let me know. Because to me, the best back four fully fit would be this one. Uh, would be this one here: Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel, Timber. I rate Tomiyasu and I rate Zinchenko, but I would just have Timber in that lineup as, as a starter, in my opinion. But hey, let me know what you guys think. What would be your fully fit team? Then to talk about Timber, it looks like he's coming back, ladies and gentlemen. It looks like Timber is coming back. Reports came out yesterday uh, that Timber is set to join. 
the full training in the coming weeks. This is a massive boost for Arsenal Football Club. And we also heard yesterday that Timber is officially joining Arsenal in the Champions League. Yes, he will be back with Arsenal in the Champions League in, in the coming up up and coming ties as Timber has been announced that he has been uh, Arsenal have registered him for the the squad for the Champions League in the second half of the season. This is great news. For Bitsy Romano also reported on this and of course this was first reported by Football London if I'm not mistaken, but reports are that good news Timber has been included in Arsenal's Champions League team for the knockout stages and I wouldn't be surprised if he had a part to play in the knockout stages as Timber is a useful defender that can that, that can not only defend but he can tuck into midfield and help out with a build up play and his control also. So this is going to be a big part of our game and I can't wait to see Timber back with Arsenal starting and ready to go. When I first see him play, I'm going to be super excited. And I just want to say shout out to Timber, man. It's been a long, long recovery part of time. And if he plays more game time than Thomas Partey, uncomfortable conversations need to be had. Simple as no question about it. There's nothing else that needs to be said. If Thomas Partey somehow plays less games than than Timber, I'm going to have some questions about that. But hey, um, let's let's just quickly stop for a second and let's go over to the next topic because there's so many topics that we need to discuss. But I feel like we can quickly get over this one here, Jorginho. Jorginho is a player that a lot of people, a lot of people questioned if he should get. A lot of people questioned if he should get a new deal. A lot of people questioned if he should get an extension. Now it seems like everyone's kind of on board. Everyone's kind of finally seeing what I'm seeing with Jorginho. Because Jorginho, I was telling you guys for a couple of weeks now, Jorginho's going to get a new deal. Jorginho's a big part of the squad. Jorginho's part of the future. And now you guys finally see what I'm talking about. Because Jorginho looks to be potentially getting a new deal very soon. And if if he does, fully deserved. Fully deserved if he does get this deal. Because Jorginho is going to be that Swiss Army knife, that person that just can, can come in and play in the six. Uh, with with Rice and can also do more uh, more than just that. Be a deep line playmaker, rotate the ball, do all the things that he needs to do. And his physical pace and all that is not what he needs to get himself over that. So I'm happy to hear that Fabrizio Romano reported that Arsenal are in talks to give him a new deal and potentially will be giving him a new deal very soon. But we also did hear something about this. This is random. Marquinhos is going to be leaving to Brazil. What a terrible signing Marquinhos has been, by the way. Uh, I'm I'm not surprised about the Jorginho stuff and the Tomiyasu stuff. Let's be honest, Marquinhos, the sooner he's gone, the better. He He's not really ever been useful for Arsenal in his time at Arsenal. So I'm not really looking at him as a big miss. And if he does, and if he does leave, the better for us, to be fair. I don't really view him as a big part of the squad at all. At all. But yeah, let's get to the celebration police in a second. I want to show you guys um, some of the stuff that we were hearing. I obviously, I already showed you guys Ian Wright earlier, but this was ridiculous. Ridiculous, the celebration police and how crazy they were going this past weekend. They were going in on the players and the team to a next level, to the point where we had Ars blog even talking about it. We tried to answer the questions. Celebration police came out in forces when it's Arsenal. Arteta, uh, Arteta rubs people the wrong way. What can he do about it? To me, you, there's nothing you can do. Arsenal is just one of the most hated teams uh, uh, because we have so much. Uh, we're in the Premier League. We have a lot of. We have, we're very vocal. We're a loud fan base. Get in people's faces. Compare our players to other players. People don't like us. But celebrating a win, we can't enjoy a win. Like what? What? What are we doing here? At this point, it's actually laughable. The, the the stuff that's going on and I just I just don't really care for it. Martin Odegaard can do a celebration if he wants to. The players can celebrate if they want to. If you can't celebrate in front of your own fans when you win a game, when can you ever celebrate? My question to you is not is Arsenal over celebrating? My question to you is is there anything wrong with celebrating at home in front of your own crowd? Does it matter how you do that? Do people tell you how to uh, how to uh, throw parties in your own house? No. 
Do people tell you how to do things in your own house? No. So why are they trying to police us in our own building? Don't make sense. So yeah, let's get back to this though. With Thomas Partey potentially being back, of course, Timber potentially being back, all these big boys coming back, it is getting to a point where it's gonna be looking, it's gonna be looking good for Arsenal, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be looking really, really good for Arsenal, ladies and gentlemen. So my question to y'all is very simple. It's a very simple question. How much better do Arsenal become when Thomas Partey, Timber, and uh Tamiyasu return? How much better do we become? Are you guys looking at Arsenal as potential Champions League caliber team when those guys get back? That is my question to you. Because with these three back in the building, I wouldn't be surprised what we would be capable of doing. But hey, I'm going to leave this video short and sweet. I got a video next. Uh, I got a video tomorrow with Northside and some other people coming on. I had a call-in show yesterday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It's just a quick little short video. And I need you guys to answer this question for me. How much better do Arsenal become? with Thomas Partey, Timber, and Tom Yasu. And do you give us a chance to potentially chase City or Liverpool? Or, and do you give us a chance to potentially push on and maybe win the Champions League? Let me know what you guys think. I'm out of here for today. This has been Arsenal News Today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below if you're watching this on the playback, of course, because it's not live. And, and obviously, before I leave, I need to say one thing. Don't forget, if you want to keep up to date to everything football, check out SofaScore. The link is in the description. I'm out of here, people. Peace.